What's up, YouTube? This is Muyanzi Reed doing another Microsoft Surface Duo video. A viewer in my last video said that I should do a video showing how to make the live tiles work in Launcher 10. I told him I'll do it a little bit later, so here we are. Now, in order to get it to work, you know, this is the Launcher 10 app, Launcher 10 Launcher for, uh, for um microsoft surface duo and uh this is my shit right here you know but anyway let's get into the um the point of the video okay so live tiles is you know i've been using windows phones since day one so live tiles are the main thing that makes the the os the old OS of Windows Phone looked cool, man, because you had tiles flipping around, moving around. It wasn't just a static screen, uh, icons on the screen not doing nothing, you know. It was it was different from iOS. It was different from Android. It was different from a lot of other OSs in the past. It was kind of like a new thing. So when you first download Launcher 10, you're not given the option. To have live tiles flipping around, moving, you know, having the app have to gather data in order to have the notifications show up on the on the live tiles, you don't get that option. In order to get that option, I'm sorry to say you gotta pay for it. You know, you gotta pay for it. You see down there where it says purchases, live tiles purchased. Yep, I can't remember exactly how much it costs. Maybe like three, four dollars or some shit. But if you were a diehard Windows Phone fan or you know a diehard Microsoft fan and you know every time you're going to get an Android phone, you're going to download Launcher 10, I'd say it's pretty worth it, you know. And plus, you know, when you got all your live tiles, you know, on your screen flipping around, you know what I'm saying, it's just, it's just a way better visually pleasing experience dealing with the live tiles rather than these boring static icons you know what i'm saying this is not iphone you know this is an android but you know windows phone just has to me the better ui of, of, of them all so once you pay for it you're gonna have to uh customize each tile individually so if you got a lot of live tiles on your screen that could take a while but you know I usually use that, do that type of shit to kill time, you know. Uh, I be trying to, I be trying to get rid of a lot of shit, get some shit done, you know, and uh, maybe I'll charge my phone, maybe waiting to get off work, blah blah blah, and uh, to make a good old few. I ain't gonna say it takes a few minutes. It takes a few minutes per app, per icon, you know, to customize. But you know, this how you do it. Okay, let's just go on YouTube for example. Okay, you go click on edit. Uh, did, I, did I click on it? This is, this is, I hate using the fucking using the uh oh I actually deleted it by accident. <laughs> okay. Well let's go to Messenger. Accidentally unpinned it, man. Fuck. Gotta put that back on there. So this is how you customize your each live tile so you know mine's already the live tiles are flying you know flipping around and doing their thing but um this is how you do it you go to edit and you got you know you can you can do a lot in edit you know you can change the width the height the label color the the label itself the icon choose different icons for different apps maybe you don't like the static icon I mean, maybe you don't like the default icon, you know. As you notice, I got mine looking real Windows Phone old school with all the white icons, you know. And in order to achieve that, you download Ycons right there in the corner. Or you can do uh, Minoic. I think that's how you pronounce that. To change the icons and shit. You can do a lot of other things. You can change the, you can browse icons, you know, in case the, uh, you know, you can't find one that matches what you want. You can, you can search for it. You can remove the frame. You can change the icon shadow. Uh, you can change the icon tint. 
you can uh, change the icon size, change the background. You know, usually for the for the background on the live tiles, you gotta go with the launcher theme. That's how you get this transparent, you know, uh, background and on all the tiles. You know, um, but the. To 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 go back to what this shit is about, the live tiles. You go all the way down to live tiles. I don't remember if if they give you this this uh, live tile option right here, uh, the um, the instructions when you um, before you buy it. I don't think they I don't think they give it to you. You know what I'm saying? I think you buy it and then that's when this these these options pop up. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Like I said, this is two three years ago, so. From here, you know, usually I, I click off the default settings and then you got to kind of got to tweak it. You know, you right here, you can show notifications on tile. You know, I paid for that. You know, switch back to the icons uh, when the animating live tiles. I got that turned off, bro. I don't really like that too much. Show the icon. So the notification image on live tiles, you know, that's what you need. The one that I hate the most, though, is this. Uh, show badge count because if you got these little badges badges, these little numbers on the corner of your icons it kind of looks kind of whack i kind of like the the cleanest look possible you know you know you can if you want you can put the calendar on the live tiles to flip you can put a clock you can put your contacts you can put your gallery of some pictures you like you know you can put the uh, and from there they can have the, the pictures that's in your uh, camera gallery you can have some wallpapers pop up. You can have some um, Bing wallpapers pop up. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty much it, man. Let's, let's get this fucking YouTube back, bro. <laughs> I need my YouTube on my shit, bro. If I can't get my YouTube, then I'll be tight. Now, okay, so you just, you know, just like the old days, you long, you, you long press on the app, click pin to start. And it's pin to start. You go, you, you 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 long press it, move it up. You know, just like the old Windows phone that we are all used to. And uh, from here, you can size. Looking at this shit through the damn. There we go. Back to where it was. All right. So that pretty much concludes this video. Any other questions you have on different launchers, any other questions you have about the Microsoft Surface Duo, in my opinion, if you don't give a damn about specs and cameras and shit, the best phone you could buy right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to you know, praise it too much on every video. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to keep these videos you know, topical, but... I love my, I love this phone. Wouldn't trade it for anything, you know. The camera, the camera's alright. You know, it's 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 definitely good enough for social media. Nobody on Facebook or Instagram is ever gonna complain about the quality of this camera. But it has had a bad rap. I may do a video later on. I mean, not later on, cause like I said, I don't give a damn about cameras. I don't even like using this camera to make this uh, YouTube video. But it is what it is. Stay tuned for the next videos. I'm mean, keep pumping out these Microsoft Surface Duo videos because hey, somebody gotta give this beast some attention. But everybody be safe. Muyanzi Reed signing out.